Welcome to PTC Studio episode 5. I'm five. Broden. I'm Jay. Welcome everyone. Today we've got a lot of stuff to run you through, so let's get straight into it. A mouse, you know, it's very important accessory for a laptop. The first one is the um, Rocket Gaming Mouse. I love to play gun games, so I think one thing is how sensitive the mouse is important to me. Mm. Uh, Rocket, this this mouse, I think they're up to um, 18 thousands, which how sensitive when you're moving your mouse. You can get a close up there, but it's actually yeah. got four separate buttons on the side there for yeah. quick keys. Yeah. And then up and down here for zoom. Yeah. Um, and it's even got a, a little bottom, bottom one here. Yeah. And then the two center buttons <coughs> and the left and right click as normal. It's quite sturdy too, isn't it? You can feel the click. They normally the mouse have 10 million testing for the click as well. 10 and million? 10 million, yeah. <laughs> the screw down is very steady as well. This one can push button as well. It's another button, another yeah. quick key. So I, I normally, when I play gun games, I normally use this to switch different guns. Well, you can set up your macros, and for those guys yeah. who know what we're talking about, you can set up your macros and your quick keys for any um, urgent spells or casting you need to do, or even some certain yeah. automations you want to do. You can you can program those into these buttons, um, and then you don't have to worry about pressing too many keys on your keyboard, for example. So yeah. I love how many options it has to be able to set up and automate and even customize your display and even your casting yeah. for those games, which is cool. This material, like this plastic material on yeah. top, it's almost like an anti-slip yeah, yeah, grip yeah, as yeah. well. Perhaps. So it's like, yeah. yeah, so that, you know, not only have they got the buttons a little bit raised so you can feel them when you're not looking at it, yeah. you know, your fingers aren't gonna be going anywhere. the Odesso yeah. mouse. It's a bit more of a sleek design. Um, not as many um, quick key buttons as the Rocket, but we have uh, we have in the middle here, we have two, two buttons in the middle, and then we have another one on the side, and then your normal left and right click with your scroll on top. This one's a bit more um, convenient for your resting position on your hand. Yep. So instead of having to be at the ready all the time, yep. if you're doing more work, or office or yep. moving your mouse around and you're, you're playing maybe a little bit less yep. you know games it doesn't demand as many buttons or macros or even if it's a great beginner gaming mouse it's awesome to for long-term gaming as well on a pc it does come in a left-hand model which i love because you're left -handed. i'm left-handed but it also does come in a right-handed model okay so yep. super keen it does come in both and it's super comfortable as you can see like it's easy as compared to the rocco where it's yep. just a completely different resting position Sateki? Sateki, we call Sateki, right? Yeah, yeah. Sateki, Sateki, like we were saying, Satechi, <coughs> Sateki. They normally use um, aluminium design, which normally Apple use a lot as well. Yes. Yeah, I think very simple, sleek, you know, very thin design as a keyboard. You know, look at your uh, MacBook as well. I think very similar. The button is very easy to press. Mm. You still feel the bands back. Yeah. They have all the functions on the top as well. You know, have um, change the brightness, searching balance, you know, have all the play songs, next ones, and the volume, you know, up and down, and the mute as well. So I think very easy to connect and very easy to use and very slim. And it looks like it's a yep. wireless keyboard with a USB C charging. Yes, it's a Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth keyboard. Mm -hmm and um, with a Type C charging. The biggest uh, feature I like about this one yeah. is, look at the size of it, right? Like the size of it is no bigger, like my laptop's about 13 yeah. inch, so it's almost the same size as my laptop. Yeah. And it has the sidebar with the buttons that a lot of the Macs and a lot of the wireless keyboards don't have. Yeah. And when you do have this, it's usually a big clunky keyboard, it's really thick, big buttons, and it's got yeah. the extra end. This is a nice sleek design, like I could fit this in my laptop bag. Keyboard. Mm. I think um, what we call mechanic keyboard. Oh, oh, I love I love the sound. ASMR you know? all over oh, there. You, you're just <laughs> missing all these typing fans, you know. My kids was learning um, they have app called typing apps. They're gonna love it. They're gonna love the sound. Yeah. ASMR stuff, awesome for gaming. Uh, not so good if you're in an office scenario. <laughs> 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 Definitely cool for uh, 
very thematic keyboard yeah. for like a gaming setup or something at home for filming. Again, great ASMR sounds for the keys. Actually, they feel quite nice too, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Weight, like weighted keys for the click. Yeah, yeah. that's nice, yeah. okay. The next one is the Bluetooth keyboard um, from Tafon. Coming with uh, micro USB um, charging cables on the side. It's a Bluetooth. This one can support all different um, software, you, Windows or Android or you know iOS system. As long as you have a Bluetooth, mm. and you know, and it's it's very tiny, very similar to the phone size. You know how thickness is. Yeah. Yeah. Even the size of it is. Yeah. It's it's very similar. Mm. Yeah. So as a keyboard, I think really handy if you carry on. It looks like there's uh, an actual on and off switch here. Yeah. Which is good. So you can turn that on and off. It's a micro USB charging. Yeah. And then it's uh, got nice rubber rubbery keys on there, anti slip again. It looks like the same features as the Moffy. Has yep. all the same keys, just yep. in a portable design. Yeah. Great to throw in the bag, in the pocket, in the bag for camping, I guess, if you're traveling. Satechi, Satechi, yeah. Satechi. Yeah, I think Satechi <laughs> always a very sleek designs, you know, with aluminium, very simple design. Mm. But you always, you look at a stand, this this one not just a stand, it is a hub as well. Look at Broden's um, hub on the side. Oh, it's really hot. Yeah, that does yeah. overheat a bit. Yeah, yeah, overheat. So I think stand like this uh, really helps airflow as well, and as well as the hub on the back, so you don't have all these cables run it. Sometimes you know you have a keyboard you leave in the bottom as well. Yeah, that's great actually. Yeah. I'm just thinking that that's awesome if I was to come to work and just use my laptop as my main computer. Could yeah. just sit it on top of that, Yeah. plug it in. I've already got my, my dual monitors or my monitors um, oh, yeah. extensions already plugged in. Yeah. All I have to do is plug this into my laptop and I'm basically set up, good to go. Sataki have uh, just a four stand, very handy stand as we mentioned, you know, sometimes um, work from home as well. Very tiny, small um, aluminium design, a stand, you know, easy to fold and close and carry on in the bag. Mm. But um, you can try your um, MacBook, see if they can handle that heavy. For laptop, yeah. for um, tablet, what else? Laptop, tablet, uh, iPad, you know, and very, I think very steady. You just need change different angles. Mm. Most of the um, stands, they only can change angles, which are gonna introduce one. But this one, you can change the angle as well as the whole height. And it's more about how you're confident to sit in front of the laptop. Otherwise, you're getting really sore on the back. Yeah. Especially we're working a few hours a day in the morning, you know, it's just getting really sore. It's and even good for like, if I'm just watching a video, or if I'm oh, yeah. watching YouTube yeah. or something, even in a yeah. Zoom meeting, you know. Yeah. Tafan stand as well. I think I'm very handy to carry aluminium <coughs> symbol open and just go that way. And you have six different angles to do and very steady as well. They, they have all the um, rubber design to make sure no scratch on the laptop as well. So I actually think this yeah. one is sturdier. Yeah, yeah. It's more stable just because yeah. of the base. Yeah. So I can do more work on this one. Like I, yeah. I like it's not shaking around yeah. as much, which is really good. Yeah. Um, and I can adjust it as I need to. Yeah. That's great. Bone elk, we call, um, that's a really good one. But I think this one is not affordable to carry around. It's quite big. <laughs> it's hard to go to the gym. Really <laughs> a muscle. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Really good aluminium design, very steady. When you get that angle, it's just not moving. It's very steady. This very one definitely seems like more of a, yeah. like a, it's permanent on the desk yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Like it's yeah. for the gaming setup, it's for the office setup. Yeah. Yeah. And these ones are more of a portable option. Yeah. Um, to take around with you. Yeah. For a permanent um, stand, I highly recommend this buy up. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one. Move 
next is um, the specialist in uh, making a holder for a phone and um, a laptop as well. We try. I haven't tried it. So what is it like this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, so I think very um, simple design, but it does the job. It's just, it's a bag too, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you don't, with those one, it's easy to carry on, but with this one, you, you actually not carry anything. You that, just, that is the carry. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> the carry. Yeah. yeah, it does have two angles, so you can even um, you can even set it up at a little bit more of a lenient, like oh, this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has, the second, right. it has right. the, second, yeah. um, the second one, so it's a bit yeah. more laid back. Yeah, I, I think someone was mentioning about 15 degrees, the perfect degrees. I think that's probably the, that's the more 15 like 15 degree. degrees. Yeah. You have to move this way. Yeah. I'm plugged in. Yeah, that's quite nice. You made it. Yeah, there we go. You made it. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got the um, the Soy yeah. RGB gaming speaker, which is very cool. It's quite light. Yep. Um, it's got all the plugins at the back. We'll get to in a minute. But the key thing here is it's a nice, beautiful, curved aesthetic design. It's got uh, four output speakers there with some bass underneath to can um, for the, like the sound EQ. And then you have all of your control buttons here on your desk if you want to. Um, you don't have to go directly to your phone or anything like that as well. You can control everything from the keyboard. Um, it changes color based on the music. You can set up a single color, moving color like we have here, or you know, again to the sound of the beats. It can change everything there. Uh, and yeah, you've got like all your controls. It's got your play, your pause, your next, your brightness levels, all your lighting controls. You can set timers on it wow. as well, and your power button and the different modes that's already preset into the speaker. It's got like a, a like a HUD display. Yep. Um, sorry, not a HUD. It's just like a, a, a display there, so yep. you can set it up as a clock. You can see your volume. You can see um, if you're calling someone as well. It can sustain yep. all of that Bluetooth connectivity as as most Bluetooth connectors do, um, and it's loud and it's good quality sound. So we have here these um, little more aesthetic little lights. Yeah. And as you can see, while we're talking, the light is moving yeah. to the sound. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. So you can set them up around the room, um, listen to any of the music, and they'll play around and set the atmosphere. Yeah, I think they have back, um, you can change the light, um, color brightness. As well as I think they have a spade, oh, different yeah, moods. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can do different. Yeah, different moods. Different colors. Yeah. Oh, you've got. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Da 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 da. <laughs> That's our theme song. Da da oh. da 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 da. <laughs> this screen, is our screen light. This is our tough on camera lights. and screen light. Yeah. Another awesome product by Tuffon. It's like a webcam product, but it also includes the lighting, so you can look nice when you're doing your Zoom meetings or if you're doing any filming for yourself, um, like gaming. And it comes in three different light settings. So you've got your warm light, your cool light, and your off light. And it also has the 1080p full definition, full high definition camera yep. to complement with a microphone attached. These ones have um, got this dual clip here, so a bit more stability so you don't get that shake, um, but also you haven't blocked any of the other cameras from your your computer if you're doing any filming through that as well. So I think quite nice, yep. good product. Nice and light, doesn't damage the screen. Thank you everyone. Thank you, until next time. Subscribe. Oh yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs>